More than 8,000 people have been ordered to leave their homes in a flood-hit town in southeastern Australia. Many low-lying properties in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, have already been inundated with water. A state of emergency has been declared. Officials said the nearby Murrumbidgee River would peak at 10.6 metres later today. A levee that protects the town centre is 11 metres high. One man died in Wagga Wagga when his jeep was swept away. Many local residents have left nothing to chance. They gathered up their belongings overnight and laid sandbags outside their homes and businesses before heading to higher ground. It's a precaution I've got to take. I've, I've got too, much, too many dollars tied up, you know, so I've got to do it. Well, we're taking all, our, uh, all, the, all, all the main equipment that, uh, that's lower to the ground, um, all our big free, fridges. Uh, fridges and freezers, and, uh, and yeah, just getting everything off sort of floor level and uh, putting it up higher. So hopefully if, uh, if it does come over the levee banks uh, and it comes through, we're, we're hopefully fairly safe. Yeah, we, uh, we, we don't have insurance for this sort of stuff, so we're just trying to take a few precautions. An additional 5,000 people in New South Wales have been told to evacuate their homes. Flood warnings are also in place in neighbouring Victoria State and Queensland in Australia's northeast.